Hey, what's up? It's Smurpy here, and today we are looking at the finale, My Morphin Power Rangers Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now, I'm not going to lie, this has been the best crossover I have read in many years. The JOL one wasn't the best, it was a bit predictable and very straightforward, but this has been fun, it's been interesting, and it's it's been good storytelling. Um... So we have a lovely cover, we got the Turtle Megazord, we got the Power Rangers and Turtles Together. Uh, this is written by Ryan Parrot and Simone DeMello is doing the illustrations. And Water is on the colors and Ed is on the letters. And there's lots of other people doing other covers and all sorts. So it's New York, four turtles, two mutants, one giant mo robot. The fate of millions hanging in the balance. Only Michael, Michelangelo would say something so poetic and it be considered a joke. Um, so it starts getting going. Um, them trying to figure out how to control the Megazord, which they've never done before. The Technodrome's there, which is a side worry. And uh, meanwhile, um, Shredder comes out of nowhere. It almost feels like... Green with Evil 5, he's there, blowing the Dragon Dagger, and he knocks them for, well, he knocks them down, quite straightforward, and it's a bit of a shock to their system, because now, all of a sudden, they're surrounded. Um, so, Alpha, they try to uh, remotely reactivate the control systems, um, which uh, the Turtles kindly mentioned that they're not designed for them <laughs> um, so yeah so it pretty much looks quite dire for them Dragon Zord being controlled by Shredder Gap Bebop and Rocksteady and what are the civilian rangers up to Turtle Power they bring in Metalhead so they've used some of uh, Donnie's uh, shrinking um, stuff science stuff Stuff I'm not even going to try and pretend to understand. But anyway, they've created a big metal head turtle. Megazord. So, the Megazord that the turtles are controlling now have a buddy. And it's on. And they're still trying to figure out the, the controls, etc. It's like, hey, who hit Bebop? Hey, that was me. Do it again. You know, it's it's... It's silly things like that. It's fun things. That's what makes this series so so good is that it's all been about that. Um, and they tell Shredder to hand out the coin. He says, come and get it. And then, you know, he pretty much discat, de uh, did that all once uh, he lose control of the Dragon Zord. But um, he still makes a point that only I will control the coins or something like that. So, what happens next is Zordon suggests that they can combine with Metalhead creating the Turtle Megazord. And that looks absolutely awesome and I want one. Please make one Hasbro. I, I'm sure they will make it for um, this miniseries, but that would be freaking awesome. Uh, so they pretty much destroyed the Technodrome. Um, so they're talking and they're worried about Shredder's got away and he's still a threat. Um, and then the guys come up with a way to combine their abilities and etc, etc. And flipping polarity, I'm not going to pretend to understand the science going. And that's why we read them. We don't, I don't necessarily want to understand it. I just want to know that they figured out how to get it back to normal. It's like when I read the adventure, I think, how does the writer come up with um, the solution to this problem? He must have to sort that out near the beginning of the story. Um, there's some nice interactions between Reader and Shredder. So Shredder's lost everything now. And he says, you know what, if I lose any more, I'm going to be living here. And then the, the Rangers and the Turtles just rock up. Out of nowhere, we're here, and the Power Rangers kind of have their suits, or they're sharing them. It's a bit weird at times, so um, it's it's pretty cool. And then you know we got, and finally, 
gold are, and he's like, yeah, I'm finding a big gold monkey. So anyway, they're making jokes about, you know, green and purple don't really go, and it was all a distraction, Tommy now. So Tommy pretty much sucks all the power back, gives Shredder a good thump, and then he says, boy, did I miss this dragon sword. And it's all combined, and he's back, it's over Shredder. And he says, I will die before I surrender to you. And Brita pretty much says, you know what? It's over. Introduce me to your dimensional ex-buddies. And he says, you planned this, didn't you? And she's like, why would you think that? Of course she planned it. She planned the whole thing. Quite diabolical, is Rita. And the bad guys disappear into Dimension X, leaving it wide open for another go or another miniseries. I hope so. I really do hope so. So anyway, it's a, it's a bit of a sweet um, victory. You know, it's a bit hollow, I think, from Tommy's perspective. He goes and apologizes to Splinter for putting his children in uh, danger. And, you know, it's all over. We've got a new um, pizza on the menu. Bananas and coleslaw. Go to Ernie's to get on that. April enjoyed not being on the sidelines for a change and looking fantastic in pink. And then we get Tyler, who's, um, you know, free and stuff. Um, Tyler, who we kind of forgot about it in this. Um, and he's going to go hang out with Casey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I got from that. They all give each other a cuddle. Can't cuddle in the real world now. Um... Anyway, um, Raph charges in. You know what? It's, and this is the perfect ending to the series. It's one of those endings that, do you remember Fast and the Furious? I think one of the films, I can't remember, where um, Walker and, ah, uh, oh, damn it, Diesel's character. I can't remember who he is. Um, I have watched the films. I like the films. And he says to him, you know what? I want to know who would have won. And then they just go and race and, well, then you see him racing in the end credits and it's weird. So anyway, it's kind of like that. And it's pretty much Mikey's getting the popcorn and then they morph. It's like, cure, cowabunga, it's going to be morphological. And you know, what What an ending, you know. Who's the best? I like it. I enjoyed it. This series has been a lot of fun. Um, we probably would have finished it a few months ago. Um, unfortunately, you know, the world is a bit crazy at the moment, but I'm glad to have finally got this issue and read it because I think it's it's a good finale. And uh, Parrot has told the story very well from beginning to end. And kudos to IDW for you know letting him loose on characters that he's um, probably wanted to talk about since he was a kid because we know he's a big Power Ranger fan. So it's not surprising that he watched Turtles as a kid and enjoyed them as well. And he's probably enjoyed reading comics off them as well. So um, it's a good combination. Boom Studios, IDW. I like that there is a way back in with Dimension X. Um, and I hope that happens at some point in the future. But um, fantastic miniseries. Very happy. Thank you very much. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook. My page is P. Follow me on Twitter at P. Tweeting and stuff. And as always, embrace the geekiness. Take care. Goodbye.